So for baby's first Christmas dinner, we're going to be making filet mignon with roasted broccolini, a cauliflower and parsnip puree, and a mushroom gravy that is amazing. It took a lot of tweaking and I'm really, really excited to share that with you guys. So we've got different methods going on. We've got the steak in the oven, we're going to roast the broccolini, we're going to steam the parsnips and cauliflower, and we're going to saute the mushroom gravy. So like I said, a lot going on, but it's going to be okay about a tablespoon of olive oil. And we have eight ounces of filet here in my little bag. Um, black pepper. Just a couple twists, a little onion powder. Like I said, don't go crazy. I'm not measuring these out perfectly. You don't need to. You just, you know, just throw a little in there. Now, we're gonna be using rosemary and thyme in, in the steak on the marinade, and we're also going to be using it um, in our mushroom gravy. So I'm just going to chop everything now so that it's done. The beauty of baby food is that everything can be a rough chop. It does not have to look pretty because it is going into a blender. <laughs> Garlic. I don't have very good knife skills as it is, so baby food is like right up my alley. Back of the knife. Don't go to the front of the knife. And I find it easier to do it in a Ziploc bag like this than to put it in dirty another dish. Oh, look at it already. It smells so good. And because we can't use salt for baby, this is why I put so much kind of spice and flavor into it because I don't want baby's food to be bland. So next I'm gonna start on our parsnip and cauliflower puree. Um, and I'm gonna be steaming these. Parsnip is in the carrot family, actually. It's delicious, it's nutty, and babies tend to like it because it's also a little sweet. These guys are ready to go in. And I just bought the pre-packaged cauliflower to save myself a little bit of time. These guys go in the steamer basket, and then I'm gonna cut the broccolini. I'm just gonna give this a little... These don't need to be cut into really small pieces. We're roasting them, but I want it to, to take less time. Continuing on with the prep, now I'm chopping half a cup of shallots. Never feed mushrooms raw to your baby, because it is a fungi still, so you want to make sure it's cooked. But they add flavor. Don't be scared of the mushroom. You can use it. Let's put the steak in the oven. It's going to take about 25 minutes. All right, let's get this mushroom gravy going. Now, I was racking my brain on how I was going to get a gravy to tie this all together without salt, because salt is kind of essential in a gravy. Without it, it tastes like, you know, beef water. So when I came up with this idea, I was so excited. And then when it turned out after testing it, I was even more excited. We're going to do two tablespoons of butter and a tablespoon of olive oil. Get it nice and warm, because we're going to add our shallots. The shallots are cooking. I'm going to add garlic and the herbs into them. Um, I like to add the herbs early so that kind of that flavor infuses into the oil. So I'm going to add these on in. There we go. Now we're simmering. And now portobello mushrooms. While those mushrooms soften, I'm going to prep the broccolini. Once again, we're going to be using, I don't like that piece, about one, one to two tablespoons of olive oil. You want to coat, coat your broccolini. That's how it gets nice and brown. Okay, this is only going to take 10 to 15 minutes in the oven too. So let's just spread this guy out. Let's check our time. We're about 10 minutes. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to put my lovely little parsnips and cauliflower into my steaming water. These should take about 15 minutes as well. Ooh, steak's looking nice. Okay, ooh, it smells good too. So our mushrooms have softened a little bit. Um, I'm going to add in some lemon. One cup of chicken stock. No salt chicken stock. Trader Joe's has it or make it your own. So we're gonna let this hang out and just cook down, down, down so that it makes a nice gravy. Mommy needs a break. <laughs> For this meal, I chose the Griffon Sangiovese. It's smooth. 
it's inexpensive because we're spending our money on the filet mignon. <laughs> and it's got a really great finish. It's not as light as a Pinot Noir, it's not as heavy as a Cabernet, and it would go great with um, the steak and the portobello mushroom. Now our steak should be ready to come out of the oven. It's been 25 minutes. Ooh, yummy, 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 yummy. And most of the time with the filet, we keep it at medium rare or medium. But because we're doing this for baby and it's going to go into pouches or, you know, it's going to be saved and freezed, I don't really like that bloody taste. So this is definitely a well done filet. The first thing I'm going to need to do is my gravy. Get this pureed because it's actually going to be our liquid for the rest of our puree. So I have a Ninja, and I just have one of these little single cups to make it easy. And just blend, baby, blend. Our parsnips and cauliflower are steamed and finished, nice and soft. Pull those out and throw them into our Ninja. I'm just gonna cut this filet into strips so that it breaks down easier. Filet has a lot of protein and iron in it. Just put that in there. I'm going to add my broccolini here. I'm going to pour in some of our yumminess. So we've made about a pound of Christmas dinner for baby, or four simple pouches, or a full ice cube tray if you go ounce by ounce. These will stay in the freezer for about three months, so you could make this now and pull it out for Christmas and it's ready to go. But this pouch here, it not only tastes good, but it's actually really nutritious. You have iron, you have protein, you have vitamin A, you have vitamin C, you have folate, you have phytochemicals. I mean, it really is a punch of nutrition for your baby. And I think that they will be enjoying Christmas dinners for years to come. Happy holidays, from my family to yours.